welcome to Meet the Biz. <laughs> I love saying that. I never, in class, we usually say, welcome to Meet the Biz. Not always like that, <clears throat> especially when you're not in that energy level. But this woman that we have today, this artist, this, this, why did I think of the word chanteuse? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just incredible, talented woman. Uh, she's been to the studio, and we all loved her, Miss Shelly Goldstein. Ta da! Hello. So I look ridiculous. I'm wearing my hat. That's not ridiculous. That's wonderful. Performing our Studio West hat. Let me explain why I look like this. First of all, I'm wearing my jammies because everybody's wearing them right now. I, I have no idea where. Stand actually. up, show your jammies. Oh God, it's too terrifying. Here we are, ta-da! <laughs> oh, I love it, I love it. But, um, and we have a little ghost over here. We're not quite sure why, but you know, it's the ghost of pre-corona past or whatever, but. Right, um, he's a nice ghost. Let me explain why I'm wearing these silly glasses. Uh, I have, a, this has, I, I'm, I do not have it, thank God, knock on the table, um, but I have an eye infection and something called a sty, which looks really wet, <laughs> and um, I, did, I, I just thought it, would, it might, at least at the beginning, let's start with, with my eyes covered. So um, I hope you don't mind, and I hope you understand. David and I were talking yesterday, and he very, very kindly said that we could have postponed this and done it you know, next week or whatever. And I thought about it, and I so loved coming to the studio and meeting all of you and doing a session with all of you, and you were great. And I just didn't want to put it off. And, and it came to sort of a bigger lesson, if you will, there's, there's an expression in this industry that everybody knows. It's called, the show must go on. And um, there's even songs about it. And it, it's just what it means is whatever is happening in your life, you can't let it interrupt when you're performing. You know, if, if you're supposed to do a play or if you're on, you know, supposed to do a, a lecture somewhere or, or, or be on a film set or whatever it is, you have to make it work. So I didn't want to cancel. I wanted to make sure the show went on because I, I've had experiences where I've had a, a really bad sprained ankle and I was on crutches and I couldn't walk at all, but I had to do a show. And I went in the show and I sang and I danced and did everything I had to do. And the second the curtain came down, I just collapsed like a card table. <laughs> you know? For there's, there's something that, that takes us over. So it, it, part of it is adrenaline, which is something that runs through your body and gets you all excited when you're about to do something you know, like perform. But it's also just part of your soul knows I gotta get through this and you can do it. And then, Afterwards, we relax. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, thank you for coming today. And, and uh, when you said that yesterday about the show must go on, it's so true, you know? And here we are where even, even uh, the Broadway singers are on Zoom singing, you know? And that's a lesson you can take in your life as well. You know, there are times when maybe somebody needs us uh, needs us to be a friend or needs to be listened to or or needs our help in some way, needs us to come over and do whatever for them. And you don't necessarily want to do it, but you know that deep in your heart, you know, you got to do it. So that's, you know, the show that must go on isn't necessarily a show. It's just something that you have to get through in life. Yeah. And so you, you push on through and you feel so much better rather than just, no, I can't do it now. Yeah. And it's healing. It's healing in so many different ways. Um, uh, you have written everything. I mean, you've written... <laughs> I mean, the dictionary, all the words. <laughs> all the words in the dictionary. They were, they were mine. <laughs> I came up with guacamole. <laughs> I was thinking, you know, I was going TV, film, stage, and then my 
other resources of the mindset porn, but no, you haven't done that. No, no, no. Not yet. Not yet, <laughs> but hey, you know, if we remain inside here. Okay, in a, in a few be, months, I might, you know, who knows? <laughs> but TV, film stage, I mean, you act, you sing. What do you, what do you enjoy doing the most? Oh, gosh. Um, I'm just, I'm just such an old Jewish ham, you know. Um, I, I <laughs> love <laughs> I love to perform. I really do love to perform. I love writing. It's it's one of those, you know, which child do you like better or which finger do you like better? There's not an answer there. They're different. The only real difference I've noticed is that if you're the performer and you ask for a glass of water, someone will get it for you. If you're the writer, the the earth will cool before you you ever see anyone get you a glass of water. <laughs> But when you're the performer, whatever you want, you know. Right. And oh, now it just took me to the four questions and the four children. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why is this year different from all other years? We won't go into that one. <laughs> but, but, but you know, we're you know we're all at home, and there's lots of places we'd like to be. We'd like to be in class with our friends. We'd like to be on stage. You know, and we just can't right now because because what matters is is getting through this and yeah. not getting sick. This is a horrible illness that you don't want to get. Yeah. So the good news about being at home is we have things like this where we can connect with the people we love. We can talk on the phone. We can be on the internet. We have music. We can sing along with. We can practice our singing with some of our favorite singers. You can go online. Um, I don't know if you've ever had Tom Greep come to your class, no. but he has, he has a wonderful recording studio called The Enchanted Cottage. And he also has something online called pianotracks.com. And you can go to pianotracks.com and you can get a track for probably any song you've ever wanted to sing. And then at home, you can work on it, you know, and you can get it in the right key. And it's such a and it's and it's a couple of dollars per track. Is it one pianist who does this? It's, it's usually it's Tom, yeah. Oh. And he's and he's an absolute master. You know, he he plays for TV shows and theater all over town, and the, and he's also a wonderful, wonderful man. So so so, but my point is is that we have all these resources that we can use this time at home to work on, you know, we can write stories, we can write poems, we can make, I made a video at home uh, using one of Tom's tracks and just a song. And I, and I hadn't even, I wanted to get it up on the internet so quickly that I hadn't even memorized the lyric yet. And I put it up online and it's gotten several thousand views so far. And I've gotten some letters from people and emails, you know, saying not letters, emails, nobody writes letters, but um, saying, you know, thank you for this. This made me laugh for the first time since I've been home. So, so use the time at home as sort of a creative soup, you know, think of all the things you can create while you're here that you'll bring into the world when we get to come back out and see each other again, face to face. What, a, that, that message is so potent and so powerful. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. I mean, you mentioned, you get thousands of views, which I, I, I saw your videos. They do. How, let's say the students want to get thousands of views. How do you, how do you get to that level? Well, there's two things. First of all, you have to be in a polite way. You have to, you have to put yourself out there. You know, I, I, I put it on my Facebook page and I put it on my Twitter tweet and I send it through email to friends and and you don't just send it cold like here look at this you know it's like i take the time for every person i send it to i'll just say you know hey david i know we're all at home right now and you might want to look at listen to this you know uh, show tunes always make us feel better <laughs> you know <laughs> here's a silly show tune and if you like it share it and i sent one to someone yesterday and they wrote me back and they said oh you know, this other guy who I'd sent it to last week sent it to me immediately, and I've been sending it to all my friends. You know, so it's sort of, there was, there was a commercial years ago 
uh, that said uh, about a product, you know, try it. And if you like it, tell two friends and they'll tell two friends and they'll tell two friends. And then suddenly, you know, it, it, it takes off, yeah. you know? Yeah. So you have to, you have to believe in yourself and you have to, you know, give yourself a little self promotion without driving people crazy or being obnoxious. You know? Right. It's that domino effect. Exactly. Exactly right. So if you can knock that first one over, then woo, we get, you know. So having said that, I hope all of you will go to my YouTube, Shelly Goldstein, on uh, my, my YouTube group, uh, my channel, and, and see this, this song. Would you like me to, to sing it? I would love, we would love it. I would love it. We would love it. Yeah, let, yeah. Me, let me get my music here. Hold on one second. Oh, so nice. We're so organized here. Okay, so this is, let, let me explain, what I do, I always joke about the fact that I do not write music. I write words, and since I, I, I don't have the ability to write the tune of a song, I steal somebody else's, and I say that lovingly, I borrow it, and I always give credit in my videos to uh, who wrote the original lyric and who wrote the music. So this song was originally called How Lovely to Be a Woman. And it's from a musical called Bye Bye Birdie. And the, the music was written by a man named Charles Strauss. And the original lyric was written by a man named Lee Adams. And it's a wonderful, wonderful song. And so I rewrote Lee Adams' wonderful lyric. And here's what we've got. <laughs> Back when the news was a trivial pursuit, we would watch from coast to coast as all the crazy tabloid anchors chattered. Then came the virus and the horror, and a nation unprepared gasped as headlines made us scared. Overnight, we had to deal with things that mattered. Hmm. How lovely when news was stupid and lewd and crude and trite. When brilliance from South Korea was our only parasite. Goop selling vagina candles, a real housewife's fake breasts. When CNN hourly updates clocked and Becky's arrests, Madonna's knee got hurt. Mick Jagger bought a yurt. That day when Taylor Swift got real miffed, said Scooter Dunner like dirt. When Bieber or Lindsay Lohan were known for page six brawls and patriots from New England deflated Brady's balls when 24-7 wasn't pure fear. The days when Corona was just a beer, Kardashians who cheat, or Gaga dressed in meat. The time when the wrong flick one best pick, but Moonlight couldn't be beat. When gossip and silly headlines were offered to us carte blanche, and politics was a punchline served up by Bruce Valanche. When all of this stuff caused outrage and fuss. How lovely when news was stupid. Like us. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I love that. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, it was, wasn't it great when the news was just dumb? And oh. it wasn't, ah, this is a terrible thing happening. <laughs> oh my God. That is, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. I've got one, I'm gonna throw out a name to you. Okay. And I want you to say whatever you feel. Uh-oh. 
Bruce Valange. Bruce Valange. <laughs> Which I heard you mentioned in your song. He was, uh, I was very pleased because when he, he heard this, he said, I'm a star, I'm in a song. You know? Bruce, if you don't know Bruce, and I, has he ever come to, to class? Uh, he came to class years ago and he's doing an episode uh, online next week. Fabulous, fabulous. Everyone in the world should know Bruce. He's the funniest, it. kindest, sweetest man. And he's written, I've written for a lot of people in the business. He's written for everybody. <laughs> Just absolutely everybody. And he wrote the Oscars and he's written the Tonys and he appeared on Broadway in Hairspray. And he has written every show Bette Midler has ever done. And he's just, he's a wonderful, wonderful man. And we've been working on a project together that I wish somebody would buy and produce. Uh, and it's just, when we get together, we just laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. He's just yeah. the greatest guy. I love him. Yeah. Well, and the two of you together, I mean, well, and that's, that boggles my mind, the way you said you have a project that you've been working on and trying to get it out. It's like, here are two pristine, amazing artists, and you all have trouble getting it out. It's tough. It's really, really tough. I, I, this is an idea for a sitcom. I think right now it's one that people would really, really love because it's just funny. Oh, it's we need that. Funny. I love a good, you know, 30 minute dramedy as they're often called, but this is just fun and funny. Yeah. And we really need that right now. Wow. And, and it covers all different kinds of people. And um, I'm hoping that we can make something happen with it, but he's the busiest man in the business and a great, great guy. Well, I- Thank I, you, David. I, You're a great, great guy. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah, well, I'm looking forward to seeing that happen soon because we need more comedy and fun and, and lightness. Um, and I love that poster behind you. <laughs> oh, well, I, I, that's, that's from, uh, that, that's from uh, my One Fine Day show, my Groovy Girl show. Wait, I'll get my groovy glasses that you like. Oh, da, da, da. I love it because you're, you're behind the ghost. They don't see it. Oh! <laughs> My groovy glasses for groovy show. But yes, the poster up there is for, uh, you know, the days when here, now I'm going to look like a, like an insect. <laughs> um, that's how I want to look again. You know, <laughs> as soon as this, as soon as this gets better. This is a good, uh, you know. wait, I, I will, I will, I will, t I will see, see it. It's just all red and kind of nasty. Well, you know, we, it, it, from this light and this angle, we couldn't see much. So. Okay, <laughs> it was good. But I, you know, you, you've got an you've got uh, an idea there, or uh, you gave me an idea. It's like to to put on different glasses and different characters. You know, exactly. Hello, yeah. hello, darling. <laughs> hey, darling. I look a little bit like like a like a I don't know like a fish or a bird or something like this. <laughs> well, it's so interesting how your glasses match your eight yes yes indeed you're right you're right um yeah i did i did that show all over la and i did was that the one i saw at the catalina jazz club uh no the, the that was a slightly later version this was this was the original groovy girl show and um and they're just they're so much fun to do i'm i'm, I'm working on a couple of new ones and that someday when we'll be able to see a show, you know, six feet apart from each other. <laughs> it'll, it'll be interesting. I, on, on a slightly serious note, I think exactly what we're doing right now and the way that all the Broadway people and TV people are, are doing concerts and things online, I don't think the, the, the experience of being in a theater together is ever gonna completely go away. But even if, you know, we're lucky enough to get past all of this nonsense, um, I think I think what we're doing now is going to be a more common way of people performing and and getting together with other you know with people you work with with teachers. I think we're going to see a lot more of this. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, the technology will get better so that it it's a little smoother than it is right now. These glasses are ridiculous. Oh. I tell you, I hear that, and I just 
the, I, I, <laughs> you're one of these people that you talk to and ideas come to your mind. It's like your idea machine, your brain is catching because right when you said that, I was like, yeah. And I know it, I mean, it's very serious, but the song that came to my mind is a whole new world. Exactly. No? Exactly right. Yeah. I mean, I think, in, in, you know, the telephone was a creation that that was purely, you know, a good thing. It helped communication throughout the whole world. But I think the oddity of this time of the virus is it's going to be remembered for changing a lot of the ways we do things, like buy toilet paper. <laughs> Or clean every piece of or clean. item yes. that you get from the grocery store before you put it away. I like tonight I'm making my, my husband a little fillet, a fillet of bleach. Fillet <laughs> like of bleach. Yes. I, oh yes. My, right? It's like yes. I do this and I'm going, am I going to be eating bleach tonight? Yeah, yeah, you know. It's a, it's a, don't, don't eat bleach. We're making jokes. Don't eat bleach. No, do not. <laughs> Never, 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 never. So uh, what else can I tell you, my darling? Well, I, I just thank you for being here. This visit is great. And I, I do look forward to the day when we can go back out to see concerts and shows. Yeah. And I would love, like, let's get a, like a field trip performing on Studio West. And meet that would be good. Come see Shelly's show. Oh, that would be fabulous. That would be fabulous. I love my hat. I wear it all the time. Oh, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get, get naked for you all. So here, it's just... Naked! Just all, all, all red and goofy and bleh. You know? <laughs> Hopefully very better, better soon. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and I love... Thank you for singing for us, too. Oh, anytime. Listen, everybody, stay home. Stay, stay home until, until it's safe to go out. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a while. We're going to have to change the way we think about doing things. But just remember, you have your friends, you have David, you have people you can talk to, you have all sorts of things you can do. You can write, you can draw, you can listen to music, you can sing. Just get stronger and think of, think of this time as a way of perfecting all of the wonderful things you're going to bring to the world when we open up the doors and all come back out together. Exactly. Open Thank a new you. window. <laughs> Thank you. Jerry Herman there. Jerry. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Lots of love to everybody. Bye-bye. Stay well. Stay home. <laughs> Wash your hands. <laughs>